we're saying no, the atoms themselves are the ether, actually. They just have a very rarefied, extended structure to them. So if we go back and start thinking about some of these mathematics concerning gravitational redshift using such a model, it becomes a little more understandable how when these atoms are really tightly packed in with each other and they're yanking on each other really tightly through this gravitational process, which we consider a tensile process where their surfaces are actually merged and putting each other under a great deal of tension, what happens is that the particular oscillations of the atom that are responsible for light, they become gooey and slowed down a bit in some sense. And we have every reason to believe that this would redden the light close to gravitational sources, but there's, there's even better evidence for it with things like what the mainstream would call time dilation, right? So they'll, they'll send these atomic clocks up into orbits with these kind of elliptical orbits, right? And they say, oh, time is slowing down when it's closer to the Earth, right? Because their clock slows down. And we're like, well, of course the clock slows down because the clock's made of, out of atoms and you're measuring time by how fast they vibrate and their vibrations are, in, are being essentially damped by interactions with one another. So of course that's going to be an effect depending on their network proximity to one another. So there, there's, a very, there's very mundane explanations available for almost all of this supernatural spooky stuff.